When God wants you to be with someone, it means he has checked and has seen that the person is indeed the right person for you. It means that he has evaluated all choices and has chosen the person to be the best option for you. You should accept God's will because he knows what is best for you. Rather than fighting the person, God wants you to accept it because you can't push against someone God planned for you. If God has set his mind on a particular person for you, there's nothing you can do to change it, and you can't fight against God's choice because it is the best for you. It would even be hard for you to push against this person because they are the right person for you and would have all the right qualities. Firstly, you would realize that this person has many of the values and attributes that you desire to have in a person and so it'll be hard for you to push against them. You'll get attracted to them because you'd be falling in love with those things that you already want and are present in them. Like I said earlier, God planning someone for you means that such person is the right one for you. Therefore, naturally, you'd find yourself liking them because many of their attributes, goals, and dreams would align with yours and so it'll be hard to push against them. You may have mixed feelings when you first get to know that a person is the one God plans that you should be with. You may even consider the person inappropriate or insufficient for you. However, you need to realize that God is your father and he wouldn't give you someone who isn't good for you. You will notice that this although you didn't seem to like the person that much at first. With time, you would begin to like them, and you won't be able to push them away from you. They would be in your path because God has already chosen them for you. The person would continually keep showing up where you are, so it'll be impossible to push them away. God will make their thoughts keep popping into your mind, and as you begin to logically think about the person, you would see that they aren't as bad as you thought after all. When God wants something to come to pass, it'll surely come to pass. It'll be hard for you to push against it. Instead, just accept it and begin the journey that he has put you on. As you begin to get to know the person, you'll see that there is no reason to be pushing against the person. As you get closer to this person, it'll be impossible to not love them. It's going to be hard for you to push against a person who God has planned for you because God wouldn't even allow it. God has picked the best for you and he won't let your inability to see properly cut you short of what you need. He would plan out everything in such ways that you will begin to like this person in an increased manner. God will show you several things and reasons why you should be with this person. He will let you know that this person has the same set of aspirations as you and isn't playing games. When God does all these, it's in a bid to make you accept his plan. You would find it hard to push against this person because God is already on their side and is actively working to make sure that you both end up together. When you meet this person, you would feel like you can let down your guard. You would be yourself naturally and want to spend more time with them. You would be your natural self, not trying to be someone else, and this would make you fall in love with them naturally. All your resolve, doubts, and need to fight against this person as your future partner will be getting torn down, and you will be finding it easy to be yourself smoothly without too much effort because this person is the right person for you. They would make you love yourself naturally and you'll find it hard to not love them. You won't be able to push against them. The person God plans for you would make your life feel more balanced. When you come across this person, they would delight with you in your success and support and cheer you on, eventually making you happy. All these would make you like them easily. You would have a hard time trying to push against them 
because they are always inspiring you to do better, and they boost your self-esteem. The sincere truth is that you cannot lush against someone God has planned for you. Fighting someone that God has planned for you is of no use at all. All of your efforts and fights will come to nothing because God is already with them. God has given them the key to melt your heart. You both are meant to be because God has planned it so. You must realize that there is nothing peculiar to God that He can't do. In fact, in His own appointed time, He planned this person to be yours so he can bring the two of you together in such a way that the relationship would be beautiful. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 11 says, He has made everything beautiful in its time. God will do it in such a way that this person won't have to force you to like them. They won't be the ones asking you to start the relationship between you both. They will not even have to manipulate situations or beg and plead with you excessively. God is the director of people's path, and so he can do it such that you both would be in places or circumstances where you are closer to each other. You both may get a job in the same area. This way, this person wouldn't have to force anything. It'll be so natural that you both will soon start a relationship. God cares for you extraordinarily, and so he's watching the things that occur in your life, and He will surely intervene. Because He has made a plan, He will surely do all that He can to bring the plan to pass. God will ensure that this person is likable, so that you can like them and consider them for a relationship and have a new beginning between you both. God will help this person avoid any mistakes that will cause you not to like them. He will give this person the wisdom to properly relate with you. All in all, God will break down your ability to push against this person and eventually you would like the person. When God plans something to happen, there is nothing that can frustrate His plans. It will surely come to pass. If He has said that a particular person is going to be your spouse, then it will surely happen because God's word never fails. It always produces what it was sent to. In Isaiah chapter 55 verse 11, God says, So shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. It shall not return to me void, without producing any effect useless. But it shall accomplish that which I please and purpose, and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. If God has chosen a person for you, then that is really what He wants for you. And you won't be able to push against someone that God has set His mind on. Instead of fighting against it, try to know why God wants such a person for you and go ahead with His plans. Remember that all of God's plans for you are for good and not evil. He has only the best plans for you because He's your Father and He delights in your joy and happiness. God is your Father, your Creator, and your Lover. He will not bring someone bad towards you. So if He has planned out someone for you to be with, then you can go ahead and trust in His plans. There is no need to fight against God's plans because you can't push the person He planned for you away. This is our God, the Great Matchmaker, the one who knows the best people that fit each other. Has God been fixing you up with someone lately? Is there someone you think God has planned out for you? If there is, then it's best to accept God's plans and take them as the best.